Hi, I'm Chris Shaw and I'm the CEO of Shaw Corporation. Shaw Corporation is the lead strategic consultant on the Queen's Yard project for the property owners Hatton Garden Properties. We are delighted that the NLA has selected the Queen's Yard project as the winner of the mixing category of this year's NLA awards. I'm Alex Gordon, Associate Director at Just Come Wales, and we're one of two architects working on the Queen's Yard project in Hackney Wick, and the other is uh, Stockport Architects. The Queen's Yard project is um, a mixed use um, proposal which proposes new buildings set in and around a retained working yard um, which comprise 143 new build homes. 3,000 square metres of new uh, work slash studio space with both affordable uh, homes and affordable workspace included within that and also a, um, a new home for the Yard Theatre who currently exist on site securing their long term future on site. We received planning committee approval in June of this year and we're currently working collaboratively with the Greater London Authority and the London Legacy Development Corporation to sign off the planning documents to allow us to start on site next year in 2021. In terms of um, environmental sustainability, we're looking at a long life, uh, loose fit approach that adopts principles of circular economy. So what we mean by that is reuse of materials, um, looking at energy efficiency through dual aspect, to keep energy demand down, and also providing opportunities to connect to the local district heating network. Uh, in the Legacy Corporation. So the architectural language is heavily influenced by the post-industrial landscape of Hackneywick um, and the new buildings are a mixture of pitched roof buildings and flat roof buildings um, and Just to Come Wilds and Stock will work collaboratively together to develop proposals that knit in with the surroundings. Um, the material palette is generally brick and precast concrete um, materials which are typical of the area and uh, robust and will age well and be sympathetic to Acnewick's gritty urban context. My favourite aspect of this project has really been engaging with the local businesses and local people, speaking with the local businesses, finding out what their requirements are going forward so that we can encourage local artists and designers to stay on site and make sure that we're building a cohesive and a mixed and balanced community with people living above workspaces so that we have successful businesses at the lower floors and residential accommodation including affordable housing to the upper floors. <laughs>